your buddy's back. All right, welcome. I'm thrilled to be on your little phone screen. Once again, it's me, head of the Buddy Brigade, the millennial Mr. Rogers himself, the love child of Ben Affleck and Jason Sudeikis, Timothy Dunn, filling in for Anna tonight, hashtag free Anna. And here's how to play. You're gonna spin a wheel and get a letter. If you have a super spin, you'll be able to get packs of letters or extra lives. To solve tonight's 12 word puzzles, use the keyboard to fill in the blank letters. If you guess a wrong letter, you get a strike. Use up all the strikes and you're eliminated, buddies. I'll be here to give you clues, kind of like a friend playing along with you in your living room, okay? For every level you reach during season three, you gain an extra strike. What, what? Do you have any extra strikes? Use them tonight. It's the perfect date to use them. Glass of water or something, chill out. And welcome to Perfect Date Night. Tonight is the perfect date, April 25th. It's not too hot, not too cold. You can just wear a light jacket. Shout out to all my Twitter buddies, Gretel and Maxi, who are soaking up the sun, taking a little walk on the beach today. And to my girl, Jacqueline Johnson, who I hope is out doing karaoke with her wife right now. I promise some more shout outs at the end of the game, so stick around, word nerds, there's more to come. And your futures are looking very bright tonight because we are 12, we have 12 puzzles tonight and you're playing for $1,000. Think of all the perfect dates you can go on for $1,000. You could go camping, you could do a fun dress up like a game show host and go eat fancy foods. I don't know what you like to do, but do something fun. And remember, everyone starts off with five strikes, but depending on what level you're on, you're going to have more strikes to play with. So keep earning those points. Also, have you heard the word about the HQ season three finale? It's coming up May 20th and we're giving away $100,000. So you have a few weeks to keep playing all the games, see so a level up and you can win the big money, honey. And you better believe I'm giving you a free letter tonight. So let's spin that letter wheel and get you that free letter. Oh, you know how to do it. The perfect date joke is from a movie. You know that, right? The perfect date, April 25th. That's a Sandra Bullock movie. Drop the name of the movie in the chat if you know it. She's in a pageant. It's a great movie. All right, glad to get your letter situation all situated. Now let's get right to the winning with tonight's first puzzle. Remember to take your time and think, but don't take too much of a chill pill, buddies, because the clock is ticking. And come on. Let's just have some fun, okay? Let's have a good time, it's Thursday. Your first clue on this perfect date night is small couch. And because I'm always the perfect date, go ahead and type the letters V, T, and L in. V, T, and L, small couch. Did you say sofa or couch? I'm from Chicago, we always said couch. But we did call these very special kinds of two cushioned couches a very specific name. Small couch. That's time right there. Did you get everything in? Did you figure this one out? It's the first one, a small couch, a love seat. Ah, the old love seat. Looks like a lot of you are feeling the love tonight. We have 126,000 got that correct. 7,221, you ought to love. But you know what? We can still hold hands and be buddies. Stick around, there's more shout outs coming, so stick around till the very end. Let's keep it moving. Second clue, puzzle number two. The clue is vacation destination. Do you like snow or sunny vacations? Do you need a vacation? I took a big old vacation last week, and if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you might have gotten a little peek at the answer to this question. Well, at least a picture of this vacation destination. I was in Florida, visiting my parents. Vacation destination, time's almost up. That's it right there. Now this vacation destination, you gotta be sure to wear that sunscreen, baby. So we're going to the beach house. How'd you do? We lost 8,331, you got burnt. Didn't put on enough SPF and you got burnt at the beach house. The rest of you, we're having summer vibes all night long at the beach house, baby. 118,000 of you sticking around, moving on to the third puzzle and your clue is big dog. Big dog. I had a big dog for years. His name was Naughty Harry and he was a pit bull and he was the best, the absolute best. I have a little dog now named Tiny Taco Party and he's mischievous. But the dog in question, this big dog, is not so mischievous. They're such good boys. They're so good, they're holy. Maybe they'll bring you booze if you're stranded on a mountain. That's time right there. Did you figure that out? There's a couple good ones in at the end there. The answer, 
Big dog, a Saint Bernard. Oh, come on, look at that tongue. You just wanna squeeze him. Why do we always talk like that to our animals, right? Come on, who's a good boy? Uh, looks like we lost 20,126. You weren't feeling the big dog. You gotta stay on the porch. If you're not the big dog, stay on the porch. 98,706 of you, big dogs woofing along to puzzle number four. Here we go. Fourth clue of the night, spicy stuff. Spicy stuff. Now, I'm a spicy food fanatic. I've got sauces and spicy food challenges under my belt. I love this particular spicy stuff. I used it today. I made a crock pot. It's all natural, it's from the earth. A lot of times it's dried and crushed. That's time right there. You feeling spicy? You feeling the heat? The answer is cayenne pepper, babies. Oh, I love cayenne pepper. We lost 5,114 of you, 94,626 are feeling the heat, but staying in the kitchen, baby, because you can handle it. Congratulations, cayenne pepper. And, you know, and drink water before bed, because if you eat spicy food, you gotta drink water. You always, always drink water, okay? On to the fifth puzzle in our wuzzle. What's a wuzzle? I'm not sure. Your clue is OG Classic. OG Classic. OG stands for original gangster, someone who's been around for a while, someone who's seen some things in their time, but is still a classic, still doing just fine. OG classic. This is a toughie. That's time right there. Now, did you get this one in time? This is tough. An oldie but goodie, an OG classic, an oldie but a goodie. And I got bad news. Some of you might want to catch the school bus because with 30,000 of you checking out in that, you got schooled, unfortunately. Uh, but that's all right. You listen, some of the old heads are go uh, good heads as well. Maybe we'll hold you back a grade. Probably not though. Here we go. Puzzle number six, keeping it moving. Are you a gullible one? Are you someone who's gullible? Then you better beware of these. So type for me this sneaky scheme. Sneaky scheme is your clue. You gotta be careful, buddies, because sometimes people are snakes. Like if you're looking at apartments, they'll show you a picture of a really, really nice apartment, you know? Then you show up to check it out. It's a whole different apartment altogether. Some basement in Queens with a curtain instead of a door. Gotta do your due diligence. That's time right there. Did you get it? This sneaky scheme you gotta watch out for. The old bait and switch. Bait and switch. They put out something, they dangle a nice carrot in front of you. You take the bait and then they switch it out and it's something else. Real estate agents online are so sneaky, right? Come on, don't do that. 53,673 of you caught on to the scheme and just in time. And buddies, I got good news. We are halfway through the game, just like that. Be sure to stick around to the end of the game for more Twitter shout outs. Got lots of buddies I'm meeting online. It's fun to talk to all of you. So let's keep it moving. Puzzle number seven. Your clue for puzzle number seven is don't miss it. Don't miss it. Now, if you're in New York City tomorrow night, don't miss my live comedy show called Queer Ball at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. Details on my Twitter. I'd love to see you there. And if you say you're coming to my show, I'll probably say this phrase to you because I am what? A dad. A soccer coach dad. I'm not a real dad. I love kids, but don't miss it. That's time. I love these kind of jokes. Be there or be square. Cool. I'll see you cool kids at the mall. It looks like we got 49,523 of you aren't squares. Flip your collar and say peace signs because you're cool. 5,298 of you took a hike. You're squares, man. You're squares living the now. We're moving along to puzzle number eight. Here is your clue. Classic app. Classic app. All right, Tim, do we mean a classic app like HQ or like a, an app like an appliance? Or do you mean an app like appetizer? Maybe a delicious, spicy appetizer? When I order this classic app, I use every part of it. That's a little clue right there. Classic app. That's time right there. Now this one, we talked about this earlier. I love a buffalo chicken wing. I love buffalo chicken wings is the answer. Let's see how, I got bad news because our school lunches are canceled, because you all got schooled right there. We lost 36,500 of you. We have 13,518 eating their wings. Do you like blue cheese or do you like ranch? I like them both, I love a dip. Now, the game is moving on with or without you, buddies. Now we are on puzzle number nine, everything in moderation, of course. Stay healthy, eat what you like, all but different body types are beautiful. But if you had too many wings, you might want to spend some time with this gym equipment. 
Gym equipment is your clue for puzzle number nine. Do you go to the gym? You gotta go to the gym. There's weights you can lift, there's classes like a Zumba. I love a Zumba, that's fun, right? Sometimes there's cardio stuff you can do at the gym. You gotta sweat, get that heart rate up. We're almost time, this gym equipment right there. This is a tricky one, because that's time. The first word's a little confusing, I hope you got it. Recumbent bicycle, also known as a stationary bicycle. And listen, looks like uh, 9,927 of you are staying in the game on that recumbent bicycle. The rest of you took a hike. You're off down the trail. We hope, uh, we, happy trails. We hope you stick around and come play more with us here at Old HQ Words. Here we go, puzzle number 10. Now, are you someone who snoops around whenever you go to a friend's house? It's a sneaky thing to do, but your clue is in the bathroom cabinet. In the bathroom cabinet. Not, not like the president's cabinet, but what's really in your bathroom cabinet? Maybe some stuff you might want to put away so the toilet flush doesn't get all over it. You don't want germs on it. Something, maybe something you have to plug in, in the bathroom cabinet. Maybe something that goes in your mouth. That's time right there. There were some clues at the end that gave it away. The answer, of course, for puzzle number 10, electric toothbrush. It's important to take care of those chompers, y'all. We have 9,539 of you getting perfect bills of health from your dentist. We lost 1,712 of you. You got a floss. You got a floss, you got a rinse. You got a tongue scrape too, quite frankly. You better be tongue scraping everybody. All right, puzzle number 11, we're having a good time. The answer, or the clue. What if I give you the answer? I won't do that, I'll give you the clue. Your clue for puzzle number 11 is 2000's fashion trend. 2000 fashion trend. I'm not really a fashion guy, maybe you can tell. But a certain guy started a campaign back in the 2000s that had its own fashion accessory that went along with it. It was durable in case you wanted to wear it while you were working out. Maybe on some gym equipment, maybe a piece of equipment we mentioned already tonight. That's time right there. Did you get it? This one, I, you know my dad loved this. Live Strong bracelet. Lance Armstrong rocking the Live Strong. We got 8,105 of you living your strongest life, buddies. And 1,000, we got 1774. A big year, and a lot of you eliminated right there. You weren't living too strong, but you're doing all right. And I got some great news. Maybe it's bad news, I don't know. We reached our final puzzle of the evening. Ooh, ooh. Have you been having a perfect day, buddies? I had a pretty dang good day myself. It was really sunny in New York City, sat in the park, listened to some music, had a nice day. And we're at our last puzzle of the night, puzzle 12. Your final clue of the evening on HQ Words is old school tech. Old school tech. Now you better believe I was rocking this gadget back in the day when I was a kid. It's before cell phones, before all the fancy streaming services. We had a TV, honey, we had the movies, and honey, we had these. And sometimes you could make TV into movies? It's tough, because normally you say it by an abbreviation, but that's time right there. Let's see if you got it. Red t-shirt before Chad 1M. We have Le Rabbit Guy. Oh la la, Le Rabbit Guy. Uh, we have Boo Boo 1296. Hey Boo Boo, how you doing? Congratulations to everyone else who won. And listen, if you didn't win this time, We'll get them next time. That's our game for today, buddies. Happy perfect date day to everyone. Congrats to all of our winners. Remember, if you didn't do so hot today, the more you play, the quicker and the better you get. And if today wasn't your day, I'm sure you're gonna crush it tomorrow. And great news, Words is live every day at 9.30 Eastern time, and fear not, Anna Roisman, the word queen herself, will be back in the HQ Words all the love too, right? I always have such a fun time playing with all you buddies. I've been Timothy Dunn this whole dang time. More shout outs to my HQ Twitter buddies, Christian, my real life cousin, Carolee Dunn, and Kratzy Corn, who's having her wedding reception a year from tonight on the most perfect date there is, April 25th. That joke's from Miss Congeniality, the, the, that funny movie. So hi to me on the internet if you'd like a shout out of your own. And please remember, it is cool to be smart, it is cool to be different, and it is cool to be kind to one another. I'll see you all very soon. Be good buddies, bye.